in a few minutes. Um, but I guess we can talk about life stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I I went into somebody's chat, and I'm sorry about the noise outside. Um, yeah, it's okay. But I went into somebody's chat, um, and they speak English and Japanese. And so I went into one of their games, and we played Among Us. You know that game? Oh, yes. Oh, no, no. Don't. If you want to talk about Among Us, let's talk on my stream, because we've played so much in recent days. So people will be excited uh, to do that. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm live, by the way. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> live as well. All yeah, right. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so Let's we'll talk about life. that later then. We'll talk about that later. Um, All right. But yeah, I've been working out. I'm trying to do 100 setups a day. Today, um, I kind of I streamed when I was working out. And so somebody told me to do 150. And I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. So I did 150. So my abs are just, they're feeling it right now. <laughs> uh, I'm, ju I'm just trying to get to that um, Hoso Macho person that I was Ooh. before. So, yeah. Um, like, I was thinking, like, once the stream's over, I need to go work out before I go to sleep. Like, just work out till I'm too tired mm -hmm. to function. Oh, and that then, makes sense. Yeah. yeah that, that's... And I did all my homework. So, tomorrow, I, I only have to do, like, I think I'm going to get a head start on my readings for next week. Because tomorrow, on uh, Monday... I have to go to my sister's house because she just had a baby. Oh, whoa. Congrats. Yeah, so I've been kind of avoiding going over because of the whole COVID situation. And I'm in New York. And, uh -huh. you know, I didn't want to give my nephew COVID. Yeah. Right? And they, they were like, don't worry about it. Just come over. I told them I've been safe. You know, everybody who's been around me has been safe. Um, and... Yeah. I mean, it sounds like very important event, so you should, yeah, show your face, right? Right, right. So the baby is now two, three months old. I think after, when we go there, um, she lives a state away from me. Uh -huh. um, so my dad also lives over there, so I might pay him if I haven't seen him in like three years. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I we I, I talked to him about that and it, it was good. Like so, I'm gonna go see my my nephew. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what to bring. You know, I I, I don't like coming up the handed. I have no idea. I have no experience with this kind of situation. Right. Maybe I'll bring a chessboard or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe it's too early. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has. You you have to learn right now. Find hey, like John. a baby toy in shape of like queen piece or something that would be funny. Um, actually, I crochet. Do you know what that is? No. It's like you have yarn, and uh -huh. then you can make a sweater or you can make a blanket. Oh, that thing, yeah. Yeah, so I can probably make something. Oh, that would be epic. Hand handmade gifts are the best. Yeah, I think so. You know, it, because you have to actually take time to do it. Yeah. Yeah, and so. even if like you fail a little bit, it gives it more character as well. Exactly, like you still finished it. Yeah. So we're, yeah. Uh, today we are learning shogi from a shogi pro who has her own anime in Japan about her. <laughs> well, a short commercial, yeah. No, no, no. It's short not a short commercial. commercial. It's a full it series, is, is. full length. No, 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 no. That's a lie. <laughs> it, it is the next Kimetsu no Yaiba. It is. <laughs> it is the next One Piece. I, I, I wish, <laughs> but no. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, there is the Susume Carolina video if you want to check it out. Wait. How about we do that right now? Uh, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna put it on stream right now. I because I actually have never seen it. Okay. Sure. Uh, can you give me the link, maybe? Oh, I, th yeah. I think okay. this is the link. Uh, oh, so I watch it on your stream, maybe. I got this link from Shogibon. Okay, yeah, that should be legit. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead. Okay, uh, free. Wait, 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 wait. I have to, I have to, <laughs> you're so quick, stop. Okay, Sorry. hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a, I'm a tea specialist. I know how to do stuff. All right, all right, all right. Three, two, one, go. 
I'm gonna mute. Susume! Oh my god. Yes, yes. Oh my god, it's so good. That is really like amazing. Oh, oh my god. Yep. That is so that's that's that almost bringing tears to my eyes. That's so beautiful. The first time I saw this animation, I actually cried, so <laughs> I I was about to cry. No, thank you, Joseph for oh. some bits. That was so amazing. I bet you made the mistake of not turning on the captions because there was a whole story explained. No, no, no I had the captions on. Excuse oh, you me. did. Okay. okay. <laughs> if, 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 you, if you need any any explanation, I can like because it really shows the events that happened, but it was like span of many years actually. So. No, it was yeah. it was beautiful. It was quite beautiful. Like it's amazing. Yeah, and basically the animation ends like. Three years ago, kind of, because now I leave Tokyo. Mm, mm. Okay, we have to we have to support another uh, anime series. We have to support the full <laughs> length Carolina <laughs> Shogi anime. He cut no go what? <laughs> We're gonna have Carolina no Shogi. No no no. no. <laughs> uh, but thank you. Yeah. And you're the, okay. So let me get this right one more time. You are yep. the only foreigner to have a show to be a professional shogi player. Yes, she's famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, and she, go ahead. Yeah, I'm ladies professional. Uh, 
which is kind of different from like normal pro. So far, normal pro are only men, although women could enter. Just nobody, none of them managed to yet. Uh, are you and looking I'm like, to that? No, 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 no. I there is age limit of twenty six years old. I'm mm. twenty nine, so uh, and those kids they they start shogi when they are like five years old. Got it. And then they train the whole life to get pro, like around twenty something. So Jeez. I started shogi when I was sixteen. So there is no way I could compete with those little boys. But that's amazing yeah. because at sixteen you were still able to become a professional shogi player. I was, yeah, lucky. I had a lot of people to support me on the way and somehow managed it the last year I could. Yeah. Wow. It's that that was nice. That was real nice. Um so what are we doing today? <laughs> what are we doing today? Before I cry, before I, I look at it one more time. That... Oh don't 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 I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um we can we can do some training games if you want. Uh Okay. If if you want a little bit of challenge, we can try handicap games. Okay. Uh, where I play without some pieces, and you can try to beat me. And what we can do is like we try with the lowest handicap, and we can try to go up every time we win. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So the lowest um, handicap is called Naked King. Mm -hmm. It's just I will have only King, and you will have all the pieces. Okay, sounds good. Is to make it more challenging, is there like an amount of moves that I should have to checkmate you? No, no, no. I mean, okay. I will I will give 5 minutes 30 seconds be on me, so I will give you some little bit time pressure because I know you like those. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's still quite reasonable. 30 seconds is quite reasonable, so Okay. You should so be able to That means I have 30 seconds every single move. After you use five minutes, actually, so yeah. Okay, okay. You that's have not, to that's not enough pressure. Extra. That's not enough pressure. Oh, you want more pressure? Okay, yeah. so I'll give you only 30 seconds. Then. Yeah, let's do that. Only th only 30 seconds. And if it's too not enough, we can lower it to 20 or 10. Okay. Okay. So you have to leave the game that I, you're I in left, I left. I see. Okay, and now I can challenge. And by the way, guys, oh, I got the name Charlie on the server from a long, long time ago. Okay, so this is my strategy. Am I no, first? No, I am Sente because I am the handicap giver. Got so it, got I it. I have to, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just go keep going up with this. Because you cannot attack me at all. Yep. I have only king. So if you manage, you should be like chess players generally should be able to win this uh, handicap very easily. Right. So nothing's really attacking me, right? Because my my gold is defending my rook. Yeah. So beginners by playing this handicap, they learn how to defend pieces or like surround the king. Got it. Uh, let's play here. Maybe I should try to promote my rook, right? Yeah, that's uh, also like one of the things that you should learn as a beginner. All right. Now I am pushing you to the corner. Yep. And if I go here, there's no stalemate, right? Once. Yeah. So if you push me in what you call stalemate in chess, you win. Okay, but I want checkmate, right? That's that's the better way to do it. No, no, you can do stalemate, yes, as well. I, I can do stalemate? Okay, so I can just play like... Yeah, so here on the server, I'm forced to resign as it's an illegal move, so I'm going to resign. I have no move. In chess, it's a draw. In shogi, it's a win for you. Because uh... I am forced to make the illegal move. So good job. Nice okay. strategy. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's pump it up to... Uh, king and pawns. Wait, you get uh, nine pawns now? That's cheat. Okay, yeah. no, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so I this should teach me about. Called... Go ahead. Yeah. Um, this should teach me about like pawn 
like how pawns move in shogi at least right because i still don't yeah. know so like, now because i have pawns you will have to learn how to exchange those in order to get to my king right so it's like level up you have to leave the game again if you i did, did yeah i had to refresh sorry so All now right. i have the pawns right protecting mm -hmm. my king kind of so it might be a little bit harder to promote your rook, right? Because you could prom you checkmated with me with only rook, and now I won't allow you to promote that rook easily. Okay, but here if we trade, I have an open file, right? So like I'm just gonna go back. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I mean, well. I'm gonna try to do some tricks because my possibilities are bigger now. I have a pawn in hand. So. Okay. Um, I will just you, try. You to can't do anything, over. right? So I'm just gonna go back. I'm just chilling. Yep. All right, and now maybe I can use this lance pawn and try to yep, like promote good. my lance. You're good. She's like, wait till I get actual pieces. <laughs> wait till I get actual pieces in hand. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't expect to win until we get to like maybe four piece handicap or six piece handicap. Oh, you could have promoted your bishop here. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. No, yeah, right, yeah of course, no problem. We have all the pieces, but I'm just <laughs> saying. very easy to miss that. Wait, do I have this promotion and then take here? Yeah, you have. Okay, and so... And now you manage to promote your rook, which means you can go for the same pattern of surrounding the king. Or you can add the bishop, which is a very good move, actually. Mm. I don't have a good move right now. Uh. Are you going to get away? Uh, just a little. Oh, but I can change diagonals. Yes. Now it's a dragon. It's not as powerful as queen, but still quite good. In shoggy manners as well, it's a super strong piece. Wait, isn't this checkmate? Oh yes, it is. Good job. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you one 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 thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't drop the pawn, by the way, for your viewers because that's a double pawn, which is illegal in shogi. Mm -hmm. uh, can you see the board position? I think I can. can I right? can. So you can promote the bishop uh, on one of those two squares here. Kind of speed it up. Ah, right, the right, right. Their thing is. There's a proverb in Shogi that says to check is to chase. Which means like here, you check, you check, I run, right? Mm -hmm. So you see my king like run from here to here. Right. But if you would play a move like this. Right, check me in one, right? Me instead, yeah, the next move you have a certain win. So I can do it. nothing, right? So you give away that one initiative. To get the king so instead of checking in that right. situation we have to make sure you are safe in this case you are so this is better move possible right 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 okay oh, let's let's go up eight piece handicap it's getting serious it's I getting serious okay. it's you getting have... serious eight piece is quite the one of the bigger steps for beginners to go through all right here we go hey musicality how are you doing all right, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. 
If you beat me, I, I lose all co credibility. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Okay, so... So I have two generals. Suddenly I have two more pieces, which is quite big. Step I'm gonna up. play here. Because oh, why am I playing like this? Okay, wait, wait. This is this is easy. I just have to divert your forces, right? And it's... Okay. Oh, yes. So that's that's one of the things that like chess player understands immediately and the beginners won't be able to. And yeah, but I, I don't have to take it right now. You don't have to. Yeah, I can just relax and chill. But then I protect it. It's okay because now, now I have an open file forever, right? Yep. And... But I got a pawn in hand, right? On because of that exchange. Right, right, right. They're asking me, Susume Carolina season two when? Uh, I guess when I take the title or something big, possibly. <laughs> I just want to get more pieces into the fight. Yeah, that's that's the concept that beginners have trouble understanding and you understood immediately, so that's amazing. What can I do, though? Just looks like we're trading a silver, Jingle. and I'm getting my pawn back. When? Yeah, when I take the title. If I take the title, yeah. <laughs> So Shogi is a weird game. If you take my pawn and I drop it back, it's like my pawn went back in the price of one pawn. They cannot go back naturally. So I sacrificed it to pull my position back, right? Mm -hmm. So. But now I can just one. run. And if we yeah. do trade, so I can take here now, right? Yeah, you can. Hmm. I have a weird idea. Hmm. This is so weird. This is so weird. Okay. Uh, I, it's gonna. It's wrong. It's wrong. And you're gonna have a silver in hand. But I want. I, I want to play this. Um. That's the weird spot. Uh. That's also dubious because. Oh, I, oh, right, because you can just go back, right? Because I was thinking yeah, I so can promote. As a result, you promoted two pieces in cost of one, but look, hey. Yeah, more pieces in hand, right? Right, 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 right. So this exchange, uh, you kind of gave me a free bishop and a free lance. Got well, it, free, got it. I guess. Yeah, free, technically. Okay, so now I'm losing. So you're not losing, but because I have a bishop, I have more chances to attack like this. Oh, so I, I have to try to defend, And right? there is more chance for me to beat you with experience right now, because I have more abilities to, like, mess up with your mind. Right. Okay. So this is a very famous pattern, like if your look is blocked by the silver that you moved up, I always will be able to drop the bishop over there. So it's Got kind it. of shape thing. Mm. And this is a very yeah nice spot for horse to be in. Mm. Naruhodo. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna try this. Kakudori. It's it's not the best move, but But I see what you wanna do. I see what you wanna do. You try try to get that complex... bishop out. Yes, yes. Okay. Some complex reason behind it. Mm. Okay, fine, fine. Uh I have no pawn, so I will be happy to take one. Uh, having no pawn in Shogi is a very painful situation. There is even a name for it called Fugire. Fugire. 
So being cut out of pawns in Japanese. Mm. So being out of pawns. It's a very specific situation. That's very disadvantageous. Thank you for follow. I'm not gonna read that nickname, but <laughs> Jafter, thank you for follow. Yeah, that's an amazing Twitch handle. So now again, you're doing a good job like making peace cooperate, right, with each other. Mm -hmm. okay, what can I do? Hmm. I feel like all my pieces are like kind of stuck behind, but maybe that's what Shogi needs. Yeah, uh, the problem okay. with Shogi pieces is that golds and silvers are very weak. So if they go far away from the battlefield, they have trouble coming back. So for example, right. your silver is far away from the king right now. Oh, that's a good move. She went silent. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's, a, it's a very good attack right now because if I cannot take the talking, it's gonna checkmate me. So I have to run. So I was just considering whenever I should sacrifice the gold for like speed of escape or or not. And I decided that I don't have enough pieces, so I took it. I mean, yes, you got a talking, but it's on the edge, so it's not as scary. Oh, that's heavy. This is a move that we call heavy because look, I escape and your gold is stuck there. And again, golds are very slow to activate, so that's heavy. Oh, I I missed that lance going there. That was okay. Yeah, I have to block your rook as you. Yeah, that, that's what I was, that was my plan with that pawn yeah. with that move. Yeah. And I'm gonna do the same trick possibly, or is it? Waste of material. Probably waste of material, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, so I okay, I take you promote, I move, then I free my lens, yeah. So I gave you a silver and I got a knight. Mm. So technically, you will learn later that putting king and rook together is a bad idea because I will attack two of your most important pieces at the same time, right? Right. If I do and this... Also... Yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Because if you get one more piece, you have four attacking pieces, which is good enough to attack in Shogi. Four pieces are good to attack. I'm actually going to give you the rook, I think. Yeah, yeah, but I know. I know you're going to give me the rook. The problem is I want to escape. <laughs> No, don't. I don't. want to escape. <laughs> it's actually rude to escape here. It's rude to escape here, really. It's really rude. It's rude. It's uh, against Japanese culture. <laughs> How many times have I heard that? <laughs> <laughs> You are doing a good job surrounding me. Some sides. So I need to start running up. Okay, you don't have enough pieces to checkmate me yet. So I Not could... yet. Not yet. I could try a few things here. One of which is this, and the second one is this. Let's try this. This is a silver. I just want to confuse you. There is a good move in this position. I shouldn't have played this. Silver protects. I protect back. And then I'm going to mate you. No? 
Twenty-two. Can I just play here? Yep. But there was a better move. There was a better move, I see. Yeah, I will show you later. Okay, so uh I can't I can't attack backwards, right? I mean if you promote you can. Like the silver can be gone gold if you promote. But as a result, I can yeah. run up. So you can see how those golds on the last rank, they can attack only like backward and sideways, which make them so weak right now. So this is why they're heavy again. Got it. That keyword, heavy. <sighs> there has you to be... four golds there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there has to be something that's... here. That's actually pretty funny. This was a lance before. This is a gold now, but the moment you take it, it's a lance, yeah. Mm. Oh, this is Should have taken the gold. Yeah, I just need like a few pieces and... Well, so do I. True. So in, one one big difference between chess and shogi is that because the pieces are alive the whole game, it is easy to like get the advantage, but it's harder to like win the game immediately. Like in chess, for example, you lose queen in chess, right? You're gonna lose. Mm -hmm. But in shogi, you could lose a rook. Here, for example, you lost the bishop, and we're still fighting quite equal game, right? Right. It's very difficult. Okay, let's try to use it. This is a check, right? Yep, it's a knight. And it's gonna meet me. Oh no. It's unfortunate. It's not... check, no. Oh, because I have a gold. I have a gold here. Yes, yes. That was two. I was hoping this is more scary than it looks, but it's not. So what do I do now? I think the thing that I'm doing that's really bad is promoting so much. I mean, not promoting, just hand, not keeping pieces in hand. Yes. Uh, so uh, one thing that chess players have problem with is they forget they have pieces in hand. And then what they struggle with is how to use them. So having yeah. the piece in hand is like this ultimate threat. Do I run or do I take? You can run or you can go backwards. Yeah, I can go back or I can take. If I take, I get two pieces for one. But if I run, I can capture your lens as a result. go. I'm gonna try it. It might be dangerous, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Well, I still need to defend my stuff, and I, I just don't know how to. So again, there is one good move here. I, I didn't see the good move. So thirty seconds is a lot of time pressure. Yeah, you missed the <laughs> you you missed the same type of move. So it's gonna be 
Yeah, thirty like seconds. Is, is, uh, yeah, thirty seconds. I was yeah. comfortable with the uh, with the naked king, but yeah, maybe I yeah. had to. It's it's getting complicated because yeah, there are small pieces on the board. Uh. Okay. Ah, I lost. Yeah, so the only way is to go here, and then because I have a lens, maybe I can try to drop it. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay, okay so, so now so I might need more time. Jump here. So, by the way, if you take this pawn here, I can capture a lens. Right. That's what I saw. Okay, you saw it. Okay. Beginners usually don't see it. Like kids, they usually give me dead free lenses. Uh, now you did a very good job, like, attack using... This is the basics of attacking Shaggy. You want this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece to cooperate together in attack. Got it. So you did it well, you cooperated, right, two pieces versus one. That's very good. Uh, but then I did this kind of trick here. Here the better move is actually to use the power of the rook to attack sideways. Ah. Uh. It's, it's a tricky one, yeah. You went with silver, which means I can force you back. And here you can calm down, right? Uh, you can do it slowly. Yeah, I was trying to get too fancy. It's, it's this. So there is a, a thing where you can oppose the pawns like this. So it's weird because we dropped the pawn that was there. Mm -hmm. But if we arrive at the same position where you move the silver back, this time you will be able to promote it here, right? So you uh... enable your silver to go up by exchanging pawns. Got it. So that was one way to continue. The other way was to go for something slower, like activating the knight and coming here to, you know, help the bishop and then going for the same attack. Got it. Maybe I will just show you an example. I don't know. So here Wait. you have three pieces attacking the same square, right? Right. Okay, the next, the good moves that you miss. Okay, so here I got, yeah, two pieces for free. Uh, and then this, 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 this. I was expecting you to go passive and like defend here, but you did a good job actually like attacking. So I was terrified. <laughs> There is a good move here, which is to sacrifice this uh, promoted lens. Okay, I was because thinking about I that, take, but then... You can Go ahead. Promote. And if I run, you can promote here. So ah. either way, you manage to escape me sealing off your rook by sacrificing that one piece. Got it. Got it. Got it. So in order to... This is your blocking piece. So you... Sacrifice the blocking piece or get rid of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's worth it in this case. Your rook oh. is more important here. Mm -hmm. Your rook became basically blocked, and the god that you could have dropped anywhere on the board, it got stuck here. So you robbed yourself with the options to attack. Right? Got you it. made a great harm to this god. He's crying right now. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so here, 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 yeah, I've managed to block. And you have basically two attacking pieces, and that's not enough because I have all the freedom. But you did a good job exchanging that silver. As I said before, that silver is far away from the king, so it's not very useful. So in this case, exchanging that, it's the perfect play. And here, I think that was expecting maybe this. Okay, uh, so I get a, I get a silver, and a silver in hand, and I get a, another gold basically. Yeah, if if I take it right here, right. It's, it's lost to me because you managed to get one more piece, and my king is surrounded. Right. So that one pawn became a gold. That's huge, right? 
-hmm. Here I will probably not take it anyway, because if you take it, I can take this. But I thought this is an interesting idea to show you. The reason why do we exchange pawns sometimes is in order to drop them on the back rank and make them gold, yeah? Got it. Okay, so the next... Here, yeah, all your pieces are on the back rank, where my king should be, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're on the back, I'm very safe here. So here, unfortunately, I don't have enough pieces to attack. I was thinking about sacrificing the rook and doing something, but I'm lacking one piece. So because I'm lacking one piece, I hope you're going to give me one. And mm -hmm. I'm going for a strategy where is to run my king to your camp. And this is paradoxically the best spot for the king. Got it. Because most of the pieces attack forward. Lances, knights, pawn attack forward, which means they will be weak to uh, capture that king. So that's the safest spot. So then here. So in order to defend that, there is a trick. I drop the pawn. OK. And this paradoxally kind of gives pressure toward my king that wanted to ascend. But you get your sub did a good job like blocking him with the silver. The thing is, um, your pieces are now here, so you don't have enough pieces to checkmate me anymore. Right. Neither do I, but that was the game, right? Who gets the pieces first, kind of. Mm -hmm. My plan would be probably to just go here and then capture it, but that takes time. So with, with the other two, it was just like, okay, just just win, basically. Use your pieces to win. But now it's like, okay, I'm actually able to defend a little bit. How do you break that? Yes, yes. So, so now I'm getting the idea it. is correct. The idea is correct to use um, two pieces versus one or three pieces versus two and so on. Mm -hmm. But you just made uh, tactical mistakes of like going for this sacrifice. That's all. Got it. Yeah. I, I thought it was good because I would be able to promote, but I, I just didn't see the silver because I lost. I just lost silver. So it's in your hands. Yeah. 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 Always think, yeah, what your opponent has in hand, how he can defend, how, what do I have? That requires you to think outside the board, which is a weird thing for a chess player, right? Right, right, right. But now I think you saw the power of pieces in hand a little bit more. Hey, Ikan Tower, how are you doing? Yep, yep. Do you want to try this handicap I, again? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. By the uh, way, she she is an amazing Shogi pro. She has a, her own anime short. Amazing <laughs> person as well. I'm going to buy her pizza when I go to Japan. Again. Uh, yes, you're gonna eat pizza. Yep. <laughs> you have to show me the pizza place that you're talking about, and then I'll you're show gonna, you my friends. Me, yeah, you're going you're gonna to give me pizza. I'm going to show you the Shogi world in Japan. <laughs> I think that's a good trade-off. <laughs> I think that's a very good trade-off. But I'm gonna ask for definitely. one slice, so. <laughs> sure. Definitely. I won't be able to eat it all. All right. So, uh, okay. Wait. Nope. Not this person. Okay. Oops. By the way, Kentaro is also a streamer. Go Let's follow go. him right now. And we're gonna play Among Us. We oh wait. Have, uh, somebody. Somebody yep. in my stream is um Among Us. He so he invited us to Among Us. He invited me to Among Us yesterday, so he might want to do it today, and maybe we can play. Yeah, we actually got into Among Us like two days ago. Uh, there is another streamer called Nirok, mm. and yeah, he, he just got us all into Among Us, and we play together, and it's fun. We should also do it together, possibly. Let's do it. I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah, I, I really like it. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Are you a good liar? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a lie. So silvers are meant to attack. Yes. And golds are the heavier pieces. Yes, because they cannot go back easily, as you saw in the previous game. They are most you. You want to keep them behind, right? So you want to mm -hmm. keep them to defense. Silvers can run... go. Okay. Yeah. Can go backward into. Uh, it's easier for them to like. I don't know what's the English twist. Like jump between pawns, like because right. they go diagonally. It's a weird thing, but it works. What do I wanna do now? Uh. 
Okay, let's go to this. I played Among Us only three days and I have already so many good and bad memories. So you see, if you drop the pawn, my gold would be able to go only one square backward, which is quite painful. Was that a better move than placing it like to attack your gold? Because I feel like your gold has no feature there. Uh, we're gonna find out in a moment. I'm not sure actually. I see. Okay. I mean, so... sure, talking is a good idea, but it, um, it is a good idea. I mean, the, fa the the only thing for me is that it's far away from my king, so for now I feel safe enough. Okay, so I'm gonna put something in front because you you're kind of getting sure. a little bit scary. And I'm scared about uh, a pawn drop on uh, right near my bishop, so I'm gonna play my gold here. That's a very good move right now, yeah. You could have done it after I dropped the pawn, but you can do it now as well, yeah. Uh, I think that I... I'm gonna do this. Okay, so to increase the gold's power, I need to go back with it, yes, right? Yes, exactly. All right. So, what do I do? so I'm going to drop this pawn anyway, because in the future, I don't want you to drop a pawn there. True. I want to have some spot to attack. Because now, because you promoted the pawn, it means you will be able to drop another pawn onto that line, right? Mm -hmm. and... I have a really interesting idea. Hopefully it works. I love interesting ideas. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Okay. yeah, betrayed memories in Among Us. I also met one guy who played with me like 10 games and then we Ooh. wanted to exchange contact. Wait, can I? Oh, it... I don't want to lose. The... I don't want to lose. Okay, wait. Oh, I'm pretty yeah, sure this no works. Yeah, there's no way to cancel yeah, the move after we play. Oh, oh, interesting. I'm terrified right now. Oh no, but your lance. Oh. I you have a lance at hand. I know what you're thinking about. Yeah. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Ah! I mistook the piece. Oh. What the heck? Why was it wrong? <laughs> uh, wait, wait is there a take back? No, there is no way to go back. The problem is, like, there is this hitbox that's not correct, and the hitbox of the pawn is over the lens, probably, and this is what happened. I oh, clicked no. the lens, but it wasn't. Is it okay to continue, or...? Uh, I, can, I, I can make another move, and then... I mean, there's no way of me to moving back, so just oh, win the game. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. I feel, I feel bad. Yeah, cause... it should be lens. It should be lens, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's my fault I clicked too quickly. Yeah, how does it... I clicked on the... Yeah, if you click on the bottom left of the lens, it picks up the pawn. I have to tell, because there was the same problem with the knight before. Mm. And it was fixed, but the lens was not fixed. So I got bamboozled, yeah. Oh, I have an interesting idea. Okay, I'm gonna tell it to the administrator right now. 
and we can try this again you know sure i i have a very interesting idea all right because even there if you, you drop the lance i had a very very good move which bone but, drop mm, no Need i was thinking gold. maybe i can attack your gold Need with my rook yeah yeah but then i had three pawns so my plan was to block it with consecutive pound drop so i was like this is gonna be so cool and then i just click <laughs> i wanted I to see. show you this cool technique i'm gonna show you after the game that's some very angry okay so here i have no defense so i'm gonna resign so what i plan to do is uh if I drop the lance, sure you can move the rook, but then I drop the pawn, mm -hmm. you take, I drop the pawn, you take, ah. I drop the pawn, you run, and then I take the silver. So that's that's like kind of defensive technique that I wanted to show you. But yeah. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, so that's the power of pawns in Shogi, you can use them for many techniques. So this is consecutive pawn drop. Mm -hmm. the Pawn uh, before that you dropped in front of the silver was a striking pawn, mm -hmm. or in front of the gold actually. And then there are it, in this game you also played something called dangling pawn. This one, you dropped it behind my uh, forces. And then yeah, very good job, very good job. So do you want to try this handicap again, or do you want to go level up? Let's go level up, because I feel I felt right. like I was kind of breaking through. Yes, yes, you did a very good job. So now, six piece means I have two silvers as well. Okay, okay, so... Now, it... now it's getting very complicated. Got it. It's like so... a first really huge step for a beginner to beat that. Okay. And when I had knights, if, if we ever get to two-piece handicap, it means like you're very strong. Uh, six is still like intermediate, I would say. Got it. So in, in like Q or Don, what would I be? If uh, I did beat you at that. So again, like you can beat me in technique, but in equal game, you will need some additional knowledge. Right, so right, right. I'm going to just quickly message the administrator about the lines. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll read, I'll read some of the chat, which probably hasn't moved. <laughs> yeah, it's an odds game. Yeah, what's up, F Twilight? Kentaro, are we doing uh, Among Us? Okay, messaged. Thank you for following. Kawaii Agro, that's some interesting nickname. What's kawaii and agro at the same time? Hmm. Ah, mm. uh, ageretsuko. Okay, wait. Do you know that? Huh? Ageretsuko. What? Ageretsuko. No. It's the uh, it's a show on Netflix about a bear. She's like a um she works as an office lady in Japan, but then uh -huh. to relieve all the stress of all the pressure that she gets, she goes to karaoke and she sings death metal. Oh, I, oh, it's like anime. Yeah, I saw the memes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's probably what Kawaii Agro is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, that's what I think it what is. What was I thinking? I was thinking about... Uh, no, Yakuza Messaging the... are not Kawaii, though. Oh, no, the Yankees? No. Yeah. Like, we have this one lady pro that's actually pretty cute and also famous for being aggressive. If you Google... Her name, there is a video in English about her. Her name is Kagawa Manao. Uh, I won't search her right now. I think you're baiting me into getting demonetized. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, there is like this. But there's later a few on. of those ladies in Shogi Ward that are like cute, but also they're famous for being like tough when they are facing the Shogi board. Mm. Like one of the traits we have. Are you? Nope. I'm not kawaii, so... I am just aggro. <laughs> 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 alright, alright. This is where the challenge really starts. Okay. Yes. Okay, so that's all. Have, as you see. 
So now here I'm gonna add. I don't remember how to play it. There's like a specific joseki, but I don't remember it. What am I famous for? I'm famous for being a foreigner, I guess. <laughs> That's selling yourself Strong short. foreigner that came from out of nowhere. So my plan is not to give you anything too much. Um, yeah. yeah. So, okay. so now uh, that square that you attacked before with Rook and Silver is protected by two pieces, actually. Right, right. So that will be harder to break. If you don't give me pieces, you won't be able to break through, though. Because Shogi is a game of exchanges. Okay. I think with this one, I have to give you pieces that... Um... Okay, this, this might seem like a bad strat. Hold on. It's not the Jodze factor, well, kind of Jodze factor, but not as much as the top lady pro like Satomi. Satomi is like a famous lady pro that uh, almost became like this general pro. She's like four crown, four title holder, four out of eight she holds. Uh, she's like super strong. Compared to that, I'm like low tier. So you're thinking about castling. That's very good. There are some tiny mistakes you're making about it, but uh, the thought is well. The I, is I actually I didn't think about casting at all, but maybe I should. Yeah, yeah, but the the way you move the pieces, you see, you're more defensive, which might be a good idea because I, you're just a stronger player, so. I I want to make sure that I have. Okay, so this is yes. what this is that's, my idea. That's a good idea. Before exchanges, castle your king so that I have less space to drop those pieces or less space to counter attack. That's a good idea. And now I have trouble to attack you because you put so much pressure on my silver right now. So I'm thinking what to do. I was actually thinking to attack there myself, and I thought you would use your gold. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, and so this is a very interesting idea that that I was having. Uh. So. Lance. Okay. That is a very good idea, actually. This is the point of this Josekia to do that. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, wow. Um, I got lucky, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I, I, I think you have a good sense of the game. Like, I don't have to push anything here because you're just stuck defending, and I can just develop my other pieces. Yeah, so at some point you won't be able to continue that, yeah? But like the idea is good. There are many like other types of mistakes you're making, mm -hmm. but I can talk about this later. And I mean, it it's not easily fixable, and it comes with experience. But there are some. Okay, so fine. I'm just gonna go here. So, for example, again, keeping the rook and king together, that's one mistake. Uh... So you kind of, unfortunately, you blocked off your, you put all those important pieces, the rook, bishop, king together. Right. So you're going to put, you're going to play down a silver next move. And then you're going to promote to a chuck. Hmm. 
And for example, now the most natural defense would be to drop a pawn, but as a result, you would block the rook and the bishop at the same time, right? Yes, yeah, so I can do something crazy or I don't have to do. Should I do something crazy just to show it how it works? I mean, it's not the best move, but I'm gonna show you just this cool technique. You can do stuff like this in order to force your way in. My chat is uh, proposing to teach you shogi proverbs. So like, it's hard to learn middle game, but proverbs are the easiest way to understand the general rules. So I might throw some okay. few proverbs later on. Hmm. So like to check to check is to chase, for example, this one. Do not keep the king and bishop. Sorry, to rook and king together. I have two silvers in hand, so I need to put some pressure on your gold. Remember when you said you don't want to give me the pieces? Um it's Yeah, but I'm gonna get a pawn and a thing, right? Well, I'm gonna get a rook. Right, for the rook, yeah. So I'm getting an exchange plus another thing for a rook, but that's gonna be like my my backside is insanely weak, right? So yeah. that's a very unfortunate. I mean, I usually in uh, equal game that would be complete loss to you because my token is so close to the king. The thing is, I sacrifice the silver for that, and I don't have enough pieces, so it's very equal still. I so now it's equal. Getting you. It's. Still winning for you, I believe. I see. Okay, so nothing's protecting my goal, and I can't put another yeah. pawn down. Uh, yes, that would be new. And you told me the technique. Maybe I can. Can I use my king to defend? That's probably a proverb. Don't use your king to defend. No, no. King is actually a very strong defender. The, the question is, do you want to use your pieces in defense or do you want to keep them for the attack? If you move the king, it's a very light move that keeps your pieces in hand. But if you drop the piece, it gives you more, um, we call it stiffness around the king, solidness. Oh, I can't take that back, right? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, you cannot, yeah. Okay, fair. Yeah, because so I wanted to take it by back. By adding the piece, <laughs> you, yeah. By dropping the piece, you add the defender, right? But right. You don't have enough defense, uh, attacking pieces as it is. So you're just like cleaning up my house now? Yeah, because the rook is a very strong piece. So I'm attacking you. Am I safe? You have so many pieces in hand right now. Uh. Hmm. So this is where the chess burden comes in, right? Yeah, this is end game. When uh, the opening is when there is no exchanges. When the first exchange happens, we enter middle game, and we enter end game when the kings are out of positions like this, out of the castle. In this case, we didn't have a castle, but when the opponent's pieces are close to the king, so we are in end game. The speed is all it matters right now. I think I just need to keep attacking you. But I, I don't know what to do, but here. So the main rule in endgame is if you are faster, you attack. If you are slower, you defend. Ah, okay. So okay. As a beginner, you are not able to count whenever you are faster or slower. Mm -hmm. So this is why you're struggling. Okay, what do I do? Then? Okay. Um... Yeah, I probably have to do it because if you run to my camp, I won't be able to capture you. And you're okay, I have that. I have that. So okay. Chess tactic, right? A pin. 
A pin, yes. Yes. A pin is good. So yeah, the same tactic. I want to play... Oh, this can't go to the side. Yeah, mm. the gold is the only one that goes to this. But then... Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh... Okay, so trying to checkmate me. So I'm protecting five seven while making escape route. Mm -hmm. So this kind of gold drop is bad in middle game, but we are in end game, so we're trying to capture the king right now. Yeah. Mm. I need like a piece. <laughs> I know. Just one. I'm piece. not gonna give you any. Is that what you mean? Gonna give you. Maybe I should have played it somewhere else, like preventing that. Yeah, you check and I escape again, the same thing, right? Yeah. Uh. Check. And I escape. Right, you don't have to take. I don't. I could, no. I don't have to. Right, right. And then I, I still have silver. I think it was good just to keep it silver, right? And now this is a check. Yes, and you're yes, taking silver, everything. Right. Oh, but there's no... Yes. Okay. Taking everything. Alright, this is called being mean, I think. And this is defensive attacking move called Kobo in Japanese. I'm attacking your silver and your king at the same time. Take, take and gold. Rook yeah. are the only pieces that can do that. So this will be kind of funny. Ah, uh, and then the mate, right? At the end. Yep. It's like famous uh, checkmate pattern. Ah, uh, okay. Good game. And I have to resign. Yeah. So, um, let's see. It is a very difficult... So I'm going to give you more complex uh, theory right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so you started changing your position to make a castle. And you did this because you were afraid to attack. You are afraid to attack because when we exchange pieces, I will be able to use them. So in order to avoid your opponent using position, uh, using pieces, we make a castle. So how to make a castle? You use three pieces. Those three to make a castle. Okay. And those two. Okay. So okay. First, first proverb: King and rook apart. If your rook is here. You castle here. And if your rook is on the other side, you castle on the other side, right? Got it. So if your rook is here, which is called a static rook, you will use those pieces to attack. Okay. So naturally, those pieces will be your defensive pieces. So this will be your defensive side. Got it. Now... Uh, there are some shapes you have to remember because those three pieces will have to protect each other in order to be effective. Mm -hmm. So, like, this move is already wrong direction, we say, right? You want a yeah. castle on this side, so you want this gold to come together with this gold. So this move was better. Okay. Uh... One more thing, I really don't recommend playing this move because it blocks your bishop and you mm -hmm. ended up not using it. Got it. Can you show me like a castled shape that's somewhat safe? Okay. So if you use this silver, I'm just going to play random moves, okay? Mm -hmm. 
you can make this shape, which is called the Yagura. As you can see, king is far away. So what we do is to move the bishop away here or like onto the other square and then slowly put the king into the castle. This is called Yagura, which means fortress. Mm. And so we don't have to move the lance up and put the king to the side, right? We can just leave it like that. Which lance? So like the lance near the king. We don't have to move it up and then tuck the king in, right? I mean, you you can. That's another castle. It's called Anaguma. Right, I think I've seen that before. Ba Baron Hall, right? But mm -hmm. uh, the way you make it is different. Okay, okay. So I'll, I'll just go for Yagura. Okay, that's... I've heard of Yagura no, before. I mean, the easiest castle you can make is actually called Boat Castle. Mm -hmm. Which is simply move King here. And then move the gold up. This is called Boat Castle. Okay. There is a boat here. There's a captain. And generally, you move those pawns up here, like every second pawn, and it makes a waves. So it's like a boat. <laughs> I see. I don't yeah. like this and one then, as much as the Yagura castle. I, the Yagura yeah, one so looks... this castle is very quick, but also very light. Okay, It's not mm -hmm. very solid, because king is close to center. Uh, those silver are... So those pieces will be strong against attack from the side, but they are not strong against this. The Yagura, because the pieces are... Let me make it again, okay? You move all the pieces diagonally, basically. Diagonally, diagonally. Then you push those two pawns. Then you move the gold. So this is weak from the side, but is strong from the up. Because the pieces are looking here, right? Mm -hmm. So depending on the situation, you want to make a different castle. Got it. Anaguma is a very solid castle, but it takes a lot of time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, you move the king here. You have to move the bishop away. King goes here. The lance goes up. King goes in. This move is huge. You close up the hatch. Then you move the gold here. And then this gold can go here or like up. And even to make it more solid, you can go here. So the plus of this castle is super solid. The king is super far away from center. The weakness is only the edge. And because I don't have the lance nor the knight, it will be hard for me to attack there. Mm -hmm. But the minus in an equal game is that because all your pieces are near the corner, you don't have any control over this side of the board. So Anaguma is very weak versus uh, very weak to attack it will it. struggle with but the attack will be like uh, very aggressive sacrificing everything because your king is so safe so you just throw everything at your opponent you don't care that's anaguma mm, okay but minus is if i get to your king you have nowhere to run because you're stuck in the corner so there are risks and there are benefits right Got it. Okay. Okay. I think I'm ready to take you on. I think now that it, with these castled structures in my mind, I'm ready. Yep. I believe, yeah. If you make a castle, it would be virtually impossible for me to win. So, I made a new game. I challenge you. So, thank you guys for follow. So many follows. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Buya does ah SLP. Uh thank you all guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna able to track it now. Sangatsuna Lion, yeah, there is a manga called Sangatsuna Lion. Oh yeah, ten seconds. What do I do? I'll do this. Uh Sangatsuna Lion showing Shogi. It's like our Hikaru no Go in Shogi World. Oh yeah, and there is also quick at my one of my viewers is commenting about quick attack. So Yagura also takes time to build and it will be vulnerable for quick attacks. But in this case, because I don't have a rook, I don't have a bishop, you're quite safe.
Yeah, Shimon, he, he doesn't know the openings yet, so... And because you're going for the castle, I'm going to try to counter you as soon as possible. I don't know how to defend this. Maybe I don't that's need to. My, that's my only hope that you don't know. <laughs> Make a check. I have to run. Maybe I'm gonna do this to develop my gold. And then, uh... Ah, you said to not put the rook together. Okay. With the king. So somebody asked me about Alpha Zero. Uh, there is this opening called Bishop Exchange, where one option was to make like this half Yagura. We saw Yagura right now. So like make half of Yagura, castle your king barely, mm -hmm. and then go for the attack. Because Alpha Zero played it, people started to think that balance is more important. So. Nowadays, Kota will make this shape where the king is actually in the center instead. And um, a lot of weird position came up from that. So it kind of influenced this opening in an interesting way, from solidness to a balance. So I'm solid. Okay, I'm gonna try to tickle you a little bit. Um, I'm ticklish. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm actually, I'm actually not. Okay, so I'm gonna play here silver. No, I play gold to defend, right? But then you get gold in hand, so I should play silver. Yeah, so up. if you play silver, the hatch is impossible, so I forced you into bad shape. Yes, gold is the proper answer because you want to have that hatch, right? If you have the silver instead, uh, the square next to the silver is vulnerable mm -hmm. for some drops or like night drop instead of the silver here. But yeah, anyway, this is handicap, so I don't have those pieces. Uh, so what do I do now? I have virtually no chance to like break through. So basically, I'm cheating. No, no, no. That's that's a part of learning Joseki that you admit that uh, you need pieces to exchange and you want to be safe. That's a very good thing to do. You're not cheating. You're just learning. Okay, so now I can try to go for other stuff. All right, my king is castled. Now I can try to go uh, for some... Well, technically, you need three pieces, but yeah, that's good enough for this handicap, I guess. And now you want to concentrate on your peace activity. Hit rate, hit rate. All right. I see. Hmm. Yeah, so anaguma means two things. Anaguma means bearing hall or anaguma means tanuki. I think. Oh there, okay. Was that bad? It's, sorry, like a raccoon. No 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 no. It's actually even better than I thought, kinda. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah, it's better than I. Trying to do. Ah, oh, I misclicked again. Damn it! I can go back. 
Okay, you're gonna go back. Yeah, I'll go back. Then and I go then... here. They go there. Sorry, thank you. Mm -hmm. Just keep slipping my mouse today. I wanted to play here. Yes, that's what I expected. Mm. But now you can't play, so now you, get, you now you have no attack. No, I never had an attack, but yes. Okay, okay, well, fair enough, but... I mean, I still can play this, but yeah. The right answer is just to leave it, because I can just take with the gold, and you're not going to have... Or you're going to have another pawn, that is true. Yeah. I mean, I have to do something, so I'm trying. Okay, so I'm going to play takes here, and then play the pawn, and then I get another move. Yep. Um... And so I need to prevent that. Maybe just maybe I just play here. I have to do this. Yeah. You don't have anything in hand, so maybe I just. I mean, I have a pawn, but yeah. That is a good one. So because I have no attack, I'm paradoxally forced to, like, try to... Wait more. I have an interesting idea. Mm -hmm. So, I assume that you're going to attack my piece with your silver, and then I'm going to do some magic. You have some magic? Okay, show me. Magical. <laughs> yeah, okay, but not... it's kind of unavoidable as me now because I'm just forced to wait again, right? Right, right. And, and now I have the dragon, right? The horse. Oh, horse, the yeah. horse, the horse. Sorry, Uma, obviously. I mean, it's dragon horse and there is the dragon king. But the yeah. dragon horse we call a horse. Also, the kanji is horse, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the kanji is horse. <laughs> yeah, you're eating up my pawns. Not my pawn. We have a user whose name is my pawns. My what? My pawns eat people. We have a user like this, so I'm laughing right uh, now. Okay, so you're trying to attack. And so I will play here. Okay. But I, I don't want to move this this so much. I'm going to just play back and then... Right. Yeah, that's that's actually very good. So there's another proverb saying the horse in defense is worth three generals. So it's like super OP. Got it. Super, super OP. Yeah. What can I do, though? I cannot do anything. It's... So just from just from learning the castle, <laughs> I was able to like yeah, the, level up a little bit. Yes, yes, that's a big, another big step. Okay. Um. So now, I mean. So even if I even if I outplay you wait. with the castle, it means you have more chances to survive, right? Right, but I shouldn't have played that, right? Because that's that's my castle structure, so. That's your weakness, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, in equal game, you shouldn't attack from that side. Right, I should throw pieces on the other side. Yeah. Okay, Same so. chess, right? Um. Yeah, but it, some people do it anyways. And then they're a genius <laughs> when they do it. Right? Oh, so the reason um, you might think that I look sleepy is because... I, well, 
probably. I worked on a paper today. I had some readings to do. I woke up really early. Um, hmm. So this is another weakness of Anaguma. You take the solidness, I can take the space instead, right? It's something like in Go, kind of. You take the corner, I take the outside wall. That's similar. And um, I also worked out today. It's a lot of work done on so Saturday, is it? For me, it's Sunday. Yeah. Uh, good luck, good luck, Jen Jen. I mean, enjoy hunting durians. <laughs> Durian is such a stinky fruit, though. That's a great move. Wait, like actual hunt for durian? <laughs> yeah, I'm in trouble. I have to do this. You have two good moves in this position. That's one of them. Oh, that's really interesting. No, yeah, it's a clutch. Tesuji, but... And I can attack that later. Maybe I can attack it like this. Oh. <laughs> My board looks like a chessboard right now. <laughs> I have all the center. Usually that's very bad in Shaggy because there's a lot of dropping space. Well, yeah. I'm waiting for confirmation whenever you say that. That's a good move. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, in this position, like anything you play will be good, but this gives me some chance for the counter over there, possibly. Okay, let's do this. So this gold pound shape, it's like a stone usually. It's very hard to like disturb it. Oh, okay, by hunting durian, it's actually going to buy one. Oh, you're attacking my rook. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> I have to. So you're cheating again. Uh, cheating? Cheating how? I don't know. I don't know. I, maybe I should have a lot that. So, my position is so bad right now. I'm just trying to survive somehow. I'm trying okay. not to lose immediately. Uh, I guess I'll just move all the way over. Okay. I have to take it. What's worth more? Hmm. So, okay, uh, okay. This is interesting. Yeah. Go ahead. One rook equals two generals. One general equals one lens or one knight. One lens equals three pawns. And that was a pawn, right? Hmm. Yeah. So here I'm taking something for free. 
Okay, so our friend, consecutive pawn drops, is back. True. I will I will take them very soon. Oh, then you're going to get two golds. Yep. Okay, I need to learn how to check maybe because look, look, look. Okay, now you're just getting annoying, so I'm just going <laughs> to have my pieces and I'm going to promote. <laughs> you're getting annoying. Have my so pieces. I'm. I'm gonna promote another TCG. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna. I'm here, just can... attacking with the pawns. Yeah, here you can have my pieces. Okay. All right. I don't so care about that pawn. Yeah, that's a good move, actually. Just my record isn't active, I need to make it active. Yeah, that's worth it. Maybe I should have done another move actually. Oh well. What do I do? Do I run or do I I'll try to run? To my safe zone. <laughs> I don't think it's safe. You have a safe zone? Yeah, like on the bot on the right side, it's like wide. I see, I see. Uh, I need to bring all my pieces in, right? So maybe something yeah. like this. Yeah, unfortunately, you understand that. You can have all my pieces there. You're gonna have to break through a lot of. Yep, you're right. So this is what happens, yeah? You can sacrifice a little bit and then attack. That's the fun part of Anaguma. Yeah. Go, look, sit. See if a night drop. I thought you couldn't do that. Why? <gasps> it's not a rook. <laughs> That's not a rook. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh man. That's hilarious. I mean it's a gold silver exchange, so it's fine. Right? right, right. But I thought I was a rook, so I thought I was pinned. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it's like checkmate. Oops. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this is so easy. Like this why why can't I be a pro? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um... I will I will show you why you cannot be a pro in the equal game. Um, With pleasure. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Hold on, I, I gotta learn the basics <laughs> first. <laughs> sure, sure. I'm chilling over here. Okay, I will push you. Or not? I have so many pawns at hand, but I I, I don't know. It, it, I don't know how to use them as golds. Um, yeah, pawns are very like important to learn how to use them. How popular is Shogi? Okay, drop another gold and 
I'm gonna not be your friend. I I'm I'm rebuilding my castle in like middle of the board. Oh, that's a checkmate threat. Almost. How popular is Shogi? In Japan, it's like super popular, more than chess in Europe, I'd say, because generations play it. Uh, it's on the news, it's on the TV. Like when uh, the youngest pro, the youngest, like a kid recently, he became pro. What I'm saying doesn't make sense. There was a kid who became pro as a like 14 years old and it became like huge news and now everybody follows him, like his achievements. Uh, so that makes like top news. But outside of Japan, I'd say China, Belarus. In the past it was France, it was quite popular, but not as much, of course. Yeah, I know. I know you're gonna try it. I have to try it, no? Yeah. I'm just making sad noises because I would like to play better moves, but you're forcing me to not be able to. The fact that I'm sad means that you're good, playing good moves. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if I should just take this. No, let's do that. Golden hand is worth a lot, right? So. Uh, yes, especially in Anaguma game, we say that gold is more valuable than bishop in some cases. Wow. Um, what do you have? You have a silver. But your silver can't defend everything. Nope. I need more things in hand. I need to run. Don't. No, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to checkmate you. Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm running. Evacuate! Run for <laughs> your life! I, I I heard it was illegal to run in Shogi. Eh? What uh, do you? Sorry, I did. I heard it was illegal to run in Shogi. Oh no no. It's All very right, so... illegal. All right, well, I'll take here. Okay. Very materialistic of me. <sighs> so this this my turn to attack now? Yeah, you can try. You can. Try, okay. Try. <laughs> Not actually succeed. Where are you gonna move the dragon? Uh, I'm not gonna move it anywhere. I was thinking that... Uh... <laughs> You know what? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's do this. I'm gonna give you okay. a gold. I'm gonna give you a gold. You're gonna give me a gold? Okay. Checkmate and... threat in two moves. You trying to checkmate me? Oh, yes. Of course. That's rude. <laughs> Attacking my gold. That's rude, actually. No, 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 no. You, you can go back. No, no, no. I'm not backing off. It's not backing off at this point in time. Mm. Your favorite shape, pawn behind the gold. No, that's my favorite shape. Okay. Uh... It should be. You saw it twice in the same game. Wait, why did I do that? There's no reason to do that. 
you like to check? I actually don't. Just in this oh. game. Just in this game, I like to check. Yeah. It, in chess, I'm very reserved, and I like to positionally outplay my opponent. Mm-hmm. And, um... But I'm, I'm very glad that you had a drop of gold there. Yes, that's going to force me to do it. One or two. Back off, dragon. Okay. <laughs> I backed off. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not sorry. My poor silver, though. Okay, let's put some pressure on that Anaguma, shall we? So this is a checkmate in one. Very hard to defend it. So Go is more popular actually around the world than Shogi because of China and Korea, right? <laughs> is it really that hard to defend? I think you defended it just <laughs> really well. I mean, that's like the only move. That's why it's a clutch, but... Oh god, not this again. Can I do this, or is it too greedy? Probably too greedy. But I can do okay, I have to do that. This is too tasty looking move. I play Go, but I've been watching Sangatsuma Lion, so I'm watching Shogi instead. Well, welcome to Shogi. <laughs> you can also join our you know Discord. Okay. That gives me hope. Yeah, I can't I can't see this check me here, which is kinda of Bad. Ah. So that's a silver. Trying to attack my silver. I take I silver. Think this is Six piece handicap, yeah. You take the silver, I take the silver, I trade checkmate, yeah. But if I leave the silver there, then you take, take, you play down silver, I move my king, you don't have anything in hand. Or you move, ro ah, you move this, oh, I, so I have to take. I think I didn't have checkmate right, yeah. Now I do. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You have another have silver in hand. Yeah, I had check my threat if I yeah, but it's almost the same situation. Yeah. Um, I miscalculated that I thought the pawn defends diagonally. So <laughs> oh. So fun fact if I drop the silver we might make a repetition draw. Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking whenever I should do that or not. Maybe. Okay, so um, I I do have some idea. So you're not you're threatening something, but you're, okay. It's the same position that before. Yep, yep. Let's do some okay, checks. So you're gonna give me silver. Gonna give me a silver. 
It's just I'm just trying to do the checks. Which is a bad idea. This is checkmate, right? Because you just gave me a silver, which means I have a checkmate. Oh, right, because you have three silvers now. Yep. Good game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so bad. I'm so bad at this game. No, no, no. You did super well, actually. Um, let me just review it. So you I did just didn't know how to checkmate. Like yeah, so that's another thing, Rhea. That's actually how to checkmate is um, if you learn a lot of checkmate patterns, it will be easy for you to get one done. Right. Uh, in order to practice it, we do Tsume Shogi problems, which is checkmate problems. You might have heard Tsume Go. We have Tsume mm -hmm. Shogi, basically. Um, but here, yeah, okay, let's take a You did very well with the horse. The bishop activation was perfect. Like you could have, okay, yeah, yeah. But putting the horse back, it's cool, cool. Activation, the rook, yeah, good. This was an amazing sacrifice. The other way to do it was to promote first. And then if I take the gold, you can promote here. Because right. I cannot take it. So maybe I'm forced to drop the pawn, but you can force me to drop my last pawn and like, Activator. So that was like another way to break through. Um, although, you know, here it's kind of heck. I would be curious what happens if I drop it more directly toward the king, right? Because the king is on this side. Right. And if you take, 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 you can activate the silver that's an attacking silver, right? Mm hmm. If I drop something behind, you take, take, you can continue putting pressure or simply activate. The... Yeah, this is, this is win for you, right? You have two right. generals, you're threatening checkmate now, virtually, with silver drop here. Wait, no, gold drop, actually. Sorry, gold drop. Okay, not, not, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, it's not yet checkmate threat, but drop, push the king back, right, remember, and then mm -hmm. surround it. And if you have not enough pieces, you can always take that silver. So because your rook is open, you have the option of sacrificing it. Right. So that's like the direction, right? You want to attack here instead of here. Ah, uh, right, right. We... Apart. Yeah. So that's maybe that the way I should have attacked. Yeah. I was only focused then... on that one side of the board. Yeah. Here, yeah, taking is also okay. Take, take. I have to drop the pawn. If you go sideways, your rook dies, so you have to go back. So you manage to exchange lands for silver, which is a plus. Because silver is worth two lenses, yeah? Mm -hmm. Then we have this, which kind of become heavy shape. Because anytime you take this pawn, I will be able to, like, divert your attack and block your rook. Remember from the last game when I yeah. blocked it? So here it's it, it gave me a little bit of chance to do that by avoiding the lens line. Right. Like this. So I don't have to take the lens anymore. Uh, and this was very good. So here you don't want to attack those guys. Those guys are doing virtually nothing. They're stuck together. You mm -hmm. want to attack this guy, right? But you've invested moves here, so you want to continue playing here. So kind of over-invested it there. Hmm. It's kind of like in chess, everything? where it's like, you you have a good plan, but there is the best plan. There's a direct plan that you should play, right? Yeah, that, that's winning over there. Cool. But what's the goal of the game, right? Yeah. So, yeah, this is the goal. This is the plan, kind of. But... I mean, this was also a very strong move to like promote the knight. I my yeah. If you drop the pawn, unfortunately your rook will be blocked. So maybe you have oops, you have to promote it. Mm, yeah, going here. Yep. Did I tell and you that I was that very I... amazed. By... Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. 
I was very amazed by this gold sacrifice, basically. Oh yeah, I was like, look, I just need my rook to get active. Like, this is stupid. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> the proper way. Yeah. Does the chess player have a Twitch? Yes, it's Japanese tutor. Yep, yep, that's me. How do I do this trick? Is it like S O or something? Uh, you have to set it up, but I think it's either shout yeah. out or exclamation mark shout out or exclamation mark S O. Usually. Yeah, I don't know how to do it, so just just the his name is in the title, so just copy paste it. So yeah, activating your rook. Because you run Aguma, means you can do crazy stuff right now. Activating right. the horse, great. Uh, and here, pawn taking was a strong move, yes. And here there's a TCG. I will be back in a second, so try to find it, okay? Use the pawns. Wait, so this is... Be right back. This is a problem for you to solve. Got it, got it, okay. I honestly don't even know. Maybe since I have a lot of pawns, I can kind of try to promote. I can try to bring my other gold and try to trade off there. Mm. I don't know. The pawn magic. The pawn magic. Yeah, I was just remember that. Mm -hmm. I have a knight there, which cannot go back, right? Ah, uh, so is it like pawn? No, I would have to sacrifice the pawn. Yes. It's not wrong to sacrifice pieces in Shogi. You can throw away those pawns, like a... At five of them in in hand. Are... Yeah, it's six, actually. I have six in hand? Yeah. Three oh, right. Three, six. right, right, right. Uh... You can just throw them away and force my pieces into wrong position. In chess, it's very rare because the pawns are like super valuable, right? In chess. Right, unless but you're watching shogi, beginners. <laughs> yeah, in shogi, you just can get them back in hand quickly, and you need pawns in order to attack. As we said, having position without pawns is very painful, and it's painful because. Pawns are the essence of the attack, so we have to learn how to attack in this position using pawns. Got it. So I think there are at least like two moves that are good here using pawns or three, but the third one is. Mm. Is it d5? I don't know what's the Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, six, <laughs> five? Six, five is here. It does look good, right? What happens next? I think you played it, actually. Yeah, that's what happened. So that was a good move. There's another one as well. Uh, maybe... Uh, seven, six? 7-6 is also good, because next you're returning to take here, and you push my silver back. So you get a foothold to attack from. Mm -hmm. And for example, uh, how do you follow that up, though? Still quite difficult, right? Yeah. But yeah, that's one way. The other way is to sacrifice here, actually. And if I take with my knight, I can sacrifice another pawn. If I take it, I can sacrifice another pawn. So it's like, eat my pawns, but you kind of summoning this greedy god up the board. I, I take, see. Then I take the knight. You 
you are activating both pieces while taking the knight. The problem is if the court takes. So I'm trying to recognize how strong is this move. Because as I said before, courts are very important in Anaguma game. Do you have, you can drop a pawn again, I guess. You know, the bishop in hand doesn't really matter because you, you can't Anaguma really do anything. Yet. Yeah. Yes. So example, I take here, take here. I will try to attack. I don't know, like bishop drop here, maybe. Right. Thank you, Wandre, for joining. Uh, and then we have a few options. Either we defend once or we just go for the attack. I mean, it's still, whoops, it's still quite difficult, but there was this beautiful sacrifice of bond that I wanted to show you here, right? This is also a good move, but the guard drop. Yeah, I, I and then I miscalculated. Actually, you have checkmate here. I have checkmate there. You have checkmate here. I miscalculated as well. Try to find it again. So this is, think of it as checkmate problem, sumishogi. Uh, sumishogi is a problem unlike chess, where all the moves need to be a check. So it's a forced checkmate. Forced because your opponent has to answer every of your moves. That's actually how usual, usually the chess puzzles No, are. chess also have like those uh, silent moves, right? Where you put a oh, yeah, pose, yeah. or you make undefendable position, like queen, bishop in front of the king. Mm -hmm. Here it has to be a check. Got it. So it's one, two, three, four, five checkmate. Five moves checkmate. In shogi we count moves like my move, your move, my move, your move. So it's my move, your move, my move, your move, checkmate. Oh, so checkmate in three. Five. In chess, yeah. yeah. In shogi, it's in five, yeah. Okay. Gold drop, you have one move. Oh, and then gold goes over. You mm -hmm. come over and then I mate. Oh wow, yeah. Okay. I Remember, it. it's the same. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so try to play it now. Yeah, uh, I can play it on the board. Out. Yes, yes. Oops. Yeah. Okay, run. Because the best way to like, yeah, train is to actually play it out. Because in shogi we say that finger remembers. Right. Oh, sorry. This I slipped again. And then this is me. Oh, you can't go sideways. Uh, so this is me. Yep. So nice. as I'm not sure if you know, pawn drop checkmate is illegal. I did not know that. Yeah, but pawn push is okay. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. What if I go here? By the way. Yes. Perfect. So this right. is one of the patterns that you've learned today. It's uh, this back rank, gold rook type of checkmate. Yeah, I feel so like I've leveled up you know, a little bit. Now you know how to get to the king. Yeah. So here we continue the middle game. And I managed to like push you away a little bit. Oh, and the silver was so painful, yeah. So here, because all your pieces are here and I have talking here, I've tried to escape to safety. Mm -hmm. Maybe. It's already a little bit tough. I mean, I still would like to like promote this and attack the knight, possibly. Right. At any point, yeah. Like even here, maybe. Like, mm, in, I don't know if you have this in chess, like you attack from one side only. Mm -hmm. But in Shogi, we, we are like attacking from one side is often not enough. So we open up a battlefield somewhere else. Yeah, so we actually we have the, uh, the rule of two weaknesses in chess. 
one weakness is never yeah. enough. And so mm -hmm. if we have one weakness, you want to target another part of the board or another weak point and make that weak. And then they have to spread their forces. Or Yes. So in yeah. Shogi, it's the same thing. Yeah. But in Shogi, you can do it even on like three weaknesses because there's the peace drop, which means you have more possibilities, right? Mm -hmm. So you can widen it up. So yes, you want to attack from this side, but also like opening this front. So you're attacking now from this side. This side and this side, kind of. So you're protecting, you're like kind of surrounding the king in this invisible triangle. Got it. While if your your horse escapes, like you did here, you're only attacking from this side, right? Right. So you lost this surrounding uh, ability. Got it. So this is why I'm running here to the safety. Mm-hmm. And this this was a little bit uh, scary move for me because my defensive pieces around here one of them disappeared right so you did a good job attacking that guy. So yeah, for, you forced me. Here is there's a cool move here. Actually, you have a winning move here possibly. Is it gold um, to 6-5? No, because the gold can take it. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, there's no, no benefit in that. Right, then gold to... Sorry, then 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five is good, but you get nothing in exchange. You just exchange the golds. I mean, sure, possibly winning, but there's a better move, what I'm saying. Got it. By the way, instead of gold, if you want to drop on 6-5 pawn, is a great alternative. Ah, right, right, because now you're forcing. Right. But there's one other move. Or two other moves, actually. I was always trying to make that night drop work. Mm-hmm. Night drop. Uh, like then I drop on six, uh, seven, six. Mm-hmm. So what about this knight? Where do I run? Where do I run? And what happens? So if the king if goes... Mm -hmm. run here, it's very easy, isn't it? The gold drop, right? Yeah, it's called gold at the head. It's another, it's like the most basic pattern number one to attack the king. Got it. Is, oh wait, I can still go here though. It doesn't work. And this would be pound drop checkmate, which is illegal, by the way. Oh, oh, all right, right. Yeah, so that's the instance of that. So maybe still the other move. Okay, let's start with this. What do you do here then? What do you do here? You have the same move in both positions, actually. Okay, I think it was checkmate actually. Uh, okay. Here, mm -hmm. here, here, here is a checkmate actually. So that checks out. Without the pound drop, you're winning. Okay. This move is crucial to cut the king off this square. So if we go here, yep. Then can I play. No, because you can take that gold with your thing. With my pawn, yeah. Okay, I will give you a hint. There is a piece which you can take for free. The gold on 6-3? Yeah. yeah, is it protected? It isn't. Yeah, this gold is going here, right? So this is the chess tactic possibly as well, like distract the defender. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I could have go here, but again, pound drop. And this is checkmate. Because this position was a checkmate, right? Right. So I have to run. And you get a free gold. It's not a checkmate yet, but it's huge, that gold. It's huge. It's over for me. Right. I cannot take the knight for the same reason. Right. 
That's so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gods, uh, gods, because they are defensive pieces, you need to learn about their weaknesses as well, right? Right. So here, that god's weakness is that he's not protecting this square. For example, and this is why I did this so that have a connection. Mm -hmm. But actually, yeah, okay, you run. Okay, okay, okay. Um, here, I was kind of expecting this move instead. It's the same idea of making checkmate threat, right? Call drop. Mm -hmm. But you get a silver in hand and you activate the rook at the same time. Right. Plus you don't use the knight, which you can drop here, for example, right? So mm -hmm. it's like better usage of pieces. Okay, let's say I do the same move. So here you have control over this square, right? Right. So maybe you can use it to your advantage some way. There's a little bit difference right in... okay and this move was super good for me because it not only blocks the rook but also blocks the bishop so right. i was super happy because of it so like the most aggressive move you could do is to sacrifice the bishop is it checkmate threat i'm not sure but it's like super aggressive the thing is, I have to take it, probably. You take it, and now the question is, do I have a checkmate? I do not, because I have only diagonal pieces. I need uh, a, a gold to deliver the checkmate here. Mm -hmm. The knight doesn't help me to achieve it. That right. Way. And then I have so a lot of pieces in hand. Yeah, so the most I can do is to try to find uh, some thread like this. Wait, is it checkmate right? Oh, yeah. Da, 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 da. This is checkmate right? Hey, I came. think, no? Yes, yes. And then the question is, do you defend or do you attack? Do you have a checkmate? Let's try to find it out. It looks pretty interesting. If I can put, like, gold to silver, rook. Okay, so I will force you to find this is the most basic checkmate there is in Shogi. The most basic one. Okay, so your you king can, can, can no the longer. Yeah, the king cannot no longer go to the sixth file, right? So just uh, you have bishop, control. bishop, bishop, gold, gold. You have no bishop. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, silver, gold, gold. Okay, you you can move the pieces, so try to drop it. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so give me a second. All right, so I'm just going to say... Yeah, yeah, so in Shogi, checkmate is uh, mate in X. It means in Shogi, it's like a forced mate with yeah checks. Mm -hmm. No, okay. silent move would be a hishi, which is in Japanese a certain death. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's a different name for that. Okay, and so I have to block here as well. Yeah, what if I go here? And then what do you have in hand? Nothing, so. What if I go here? Be careful about this guy. Okay. Let's try this. And every move has to be, yeah. It's sure. it's still a checkmate though, yeah. Uh also, be careful of pound drop checkmate. Right, right, right. I will show you a better example, right? If you... Okay, it doesn't really... Which is actually... Mm. Okay, wait. Mm. So I will show you, like, the basic uh, example of pound drop checkmate, like here. 
you drop the pawn, that's illegal. Eh? Right. So you want to avoid that somehow. This is also a famous pattern in shogi checkmate problems. Uh, it's called pawn drop checkmate problems. Uh, how to avoid it? You're learning how to avoid that illegal position by applying some. Yes, for example, that. Very good. And now I can drop it from above instead. Yeah. Yeah. And then you promote. Then because of gold, yeah. I see. And then there's no other move. So I want you to think about this position again because mm -hmm. there is a super easier way to do it. Okay, okay. Try let me, to let drop me try it again. silver first. Try to drop silver first. Ah, because my silver can connect. Okay, because I thought that the king was going to go to uh, D. Sorry, not D. Four, four. four, four but then, but yeah. then my rook can just go there. So it just okay. Yeah, no, it makes okay. It just made it easier right? because now my rook can go here. Then I have. True, mate, it, no. it it does complicate things a little bit. Yeah. Wait. Let me try to. <sighs> but I, I I think I see it. If you don't go to 4-4, four, yeah, so four, then I just drop gold gold after that. Yeah, so that's the shape basically I wanted to show you because uh, just if the king is on the third row, you need three generals to checkmate him. That's the rule I wanted to show you basically. Right. But, but the I king was... to 4-4 four, four is complicating that explanation. <laughs> so that's, that's, yeah, that's why I was looking at king to 4-4. Four, four. That's why I decided okay. to drop a gold first. So let's see how to checkmate that guy. Uh, but, but... But I think we still have a very easy checkmate, no? Yes. We did see a very easy checkmate. And then, yeah. But I am very furious to capture this king as well. So let's capture... Wait. No, 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 no. First this. Let's capture him as well. No, it doesn't work. Wow, it's more difficult than I thought it is. Because pawn drop checkmate, right? Yes. If I, if I make the check here... If I drop the pawn, this pawn drop checkmate. There is this move, but the king runs uh, diagonally. Sorry, diagonally. So I just want to make it easy, but it's not. But okay, wait, I... can I solve it? Can I solve it? Huh? I want to solve this. This is uh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So the. How do we go back? A move. No, no. I mean, this is probably checkmate. So. Okay, so then the king has a few spaces to go. It can go here or here, right? Uh, you have to click follow the latest position. Oh, and what's the top top right? There is like follow latest position. I see. Okay, so now you can draw the arrows and I can see them. Ah, I see. So, okay, so the king can go here or here. All right, so the king um, goes. Uh, no, no, he can go only those three squares here. Yeah. The, the dragon is protecting this. Right, right. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know how to like take away arrows. Uh, uh, top, there's like this rubber looking thing. Eraser. Oh, eraser. Yeah. Got it. Okay, okay. okay. So if the king goes here. Hmm? Then... I think here. Yeah, this is checking. By the red one, right? The bishop is here, but you have to block it. This is Nifu actually. So then you checkmate like this. This is another shape called gold at the belly. Because it's mm. at the belly. Harakin. Harakin. Right. The previous was Atamakin at the head. Got it, this got is it. Harakin. And then there is the bottom one, which is like Shiri. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. Yeah. Okay, so okay, here... so that's. So what, so what if they go here? To, yeah, continue this line. But I think it's the same. It's the gold drop. If this time you run up, there's a pound drop and then Harakin, right? So the only thing is he goes up.
And now it's difficult. Now it's difficult. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. Hold on. You, you can't do something like this. Oh. Uh, he would run to here. Oh, right, right, because that nothing's protecting that. Okay, so maybe go back, right? Very interesting. You try to make it easy yes. and it ended up being hard. Yeah, right. What, so what if we don't time. promote? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What if we go sure. back and what if we instead say... Since he went back there, why do we have to promote? And we don't have to, yeah. We can just we can drop the gold or the coal. Yep. Just and then they have to go back, yeah. And so maybe can we I just do this? Back... Yes, I think this is good. And then we have um, if he goes up to oh. one three, then we have the the gold drop here, right? Yeah. yeah. So what if it's pawn? Then don't we have this with a double yep. attack? And then? And then here, and then another double. Then you're going to pin yourself, and then I promote, Good. right? Now, this, does the silver change it? Because we ha in Shogi, we have to count which piece do you drop, right? Mm -hmm. So here, it's either silver and pawn. So there might be a difference. So let's see. What if it's silver? I don't it think doesn't so. change it, yeah. Because everything's gonna, even, yeah. Although, yeah, even if we go down, well, you have to take the silver, yeah. So here, yeah. pawn drop, you take the silver as well. There is like this, and I cannot drop the pawn actually, so I have to use the silver. Right. I mean, there, there, there are a few checkmates there, right? Yeah. So because... this is another sh shape mm -hmm. uh, called one space dragon it's one space away from the king and it's a good shape because as you see it's a very powerful pin and in this case it allows us to utilize the power of the gold here so that's a beautiful shape to remember as well it can be vertical but it can be also vertical so this is horizontal but it can be vertical got it yep yeah we found it Good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My brain's hurting. Yeah, too much, too much. <laughs> so this but was six piece handicap and I won, right? You won, yeah. So I have to challenge you again to six piece handicap and win. Yep. Um Yeah, but so good job. You went up to six piece very quickly. Yeah, I, but Hopefully I can get past that. I, I want to be able to maybe go down to just Bishop and Rook handicap. Oh, that's that's huge, actually. Bishop and Rook. Two-piece, we call it. Um, yeah, but it's a nice goal. Yeah. Two-piece is very hard. And to get there, I think you will, you will have to be like above down player. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's already a big... Big uh, step. All right, and next week we're doing this, but with chess. Yes. So I I don't know how do we do it, but <laughs> because uh, chess the, the same way I I take really easy positions and I make them super complicated, <laughs> just like how All you right. did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I mean I don't have the advantage of pieces, right, in chess. No. Yeah. So. Um, if you were lower rated in chess, then I would. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, like I would give you a queen or something, but I think you understand enough of the game and you come from, you know, turn based strategy game that you can mm -hmm. kind of c come up with everything over the board. Um, so maybe what I would like to do is really, um, work on your strategical understanding of chess because it's a little bit different. And yes, I, I and then also uh, understand understanding where you need to play. I would agree with that. And you guys, if you're in the chat and you're around the two thousand level, trying to break through or lower, like 
I, I would re really recommend for you guys to come to this um, lesson because I think you're going to learn a lot of stuff. So, yeah, um, honestly, we're it, going to always... do it next week at the same time. Just yeah, the same time, same time. Yeah. And um, then we're going to binge Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the plan. Yeah. So thank you so much. Um, I'm oh, ending the stream you. here. Are you staying on? Uh. I need to eat lunch, so I guess I will take a break for now. All right, guys. So thank you so much for being here. And thank you for having yeah. me on your stream as well, right? Because you're streaming. So Same. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the new follows. And yeah. See you.